welcome back to the coding buzz live and in this live we are going to discuss about how we can create or build our own extension file yes right so as you can see here we all know that let me just check once the live okay sometimes i talk a lot i discuss a lot and and then suddenly i check oh there is no live oh yes it's live okay thank welcome you so much welcome back to the coding buzz live okay cool fantastic so in this video in this live you can ask me anything uh, if you need any help on that so you can ask me here okay and we are going to wait some seconds and then we will uh, start okay so if, if you have any doubt you can ask me here and we are going to learn about how to build our own MIT app inventor extension okay that's really amazing and we are going to use here the ai tool to build that extension that's fantastic because now you don't need to create a logic you don't need to write a code you don't need to do anything still you can create your own extension that's super amazing right so i'm going to show you a step by step everything here so let's wait some second let's uh, let's welcome to the all hello everyone hello matthews how are you Done. Okay. Cool. Uh, okay. A lot of people are here. Cool. Amazing. Now let's. Uh, here we go. Okay. So. So in this video, we are gonna see how we can create our own MIT App Inventor extension. Okay. So first of all, we need to use here one platform. This is the online platform called Natron. Okay. Using this, we can build the extension. Okay, so you just need to Nitron, and you can say here the extension builder, or you can just say here like uh, you know Nitron IDE. As you can see, IDE dot Nitron dot com. So here you can see this is the dashboard, and we are gonna create one extension. So let's suppose uh, create an extension that can add two values. Extension that value uh, that extension have some parameters that pass two values and once we click on the button that will add both values okay so how we can create it it's just like a calculator extension app so you don't need to code uh, in the block section it's a basic extension but let's see how we can build that extension right then we can build a lot more extension so let's click on the create new project okay project name always should start from the capital okay so suppose new calculator okay the package name something the package name the package name should be always like the your app name and then dot com so suppose new calculator dot com like this you can you need to put icon url so you can put any icon url okay i don't have any url right now so i'll just leave it as it is and the description is like calculator app Okay, you can just put any uh, other description here and let's click on the continue and wait some seconds and it's done. Okay, now as you can see, there are a lot of coding. Like see, this is the Java code, but I don't know much about Java. So how can I build my own extension? It's easy. Okay, so what we need to do here, we just need to use here the DeepSeek. So you can see this is the DeepSeek, chat.deepseek.com. Now I'm going to go to here, I'm going to just copy whole code and just control C. Go to DC, deep seek and here just need to say here like create a app inventor extension, okay, extension that can, that can, uh, that can do addition of two values two values okay tio addition of two values okay given by user okay here is the here is the code completed without any error you given by the user you need to complete the code by adding new function okay that take two input values from the addition and return the result okay below this is the complete code so let's wait some second and that will give you the code as you can see here he created one function calling function return everything now let's copy this 
just copy go to the id again just control a command a and just paste it done now let's click on the save button just save it done now let's click on the compile extension as you can see at this one just click on compile extension okay and wait some seconds project saved and it's compiling let's see the error no there's no error and you can see this is we have aix file okay now look let's go to the app inventor let's click on new project calab and okay and we are going to use that extension okay so scroll down and you will see the extension option click on it and in that option we need to click on import extension click on choose file and we have the new calculator.aix just click on it and import it now we have imported our own extension in app inventor and just drag and drop that extension like this as you can see here this extension doesn't have the image okay that's why it's like this so we can upload the icon image url okay now i'm gonna use one button here i'm gonna use here to text box like this okay like this and whenever i click on that button so i need to result in that label okay let's go to the block so click on that extension and as you can see here we have everything here like right? so whenever what we need to do here i'm going to just use here the label so set label dot text like this okay and click on that extension and as you can see here this we need to call that method and as you can see here call calculator add okay we are calling the addition here value one and value two so we are going to pass the value one and two from the text box one dot text as you can see here this one from here and just paste it and value two like this okay now we just need to click on the screen in this uh, no on the button click okay we are going to call this and this as you can see here once we click on the button so that will that extension okay that method will get the value from text box one and text box two and that will do the addition part because we already have done the code for addition like the plus icon and everything in that extension code okay and that will return the value in the label that's it that's really really amazing okay i can't show you i don't know how can i show you so so this is the all about it okay so now we know that how to build our own extension so let me just try how can i show you okay so i'm gonna just try to build that a companion and let me just show you here on the screen i hope you can see that okay this is uh, okay let me just try this one okay and uh, it's connecting okay can you see yes now let me just put that values here suppose okay so numbers is like 78 and 2 and i'm just gonna click on the button is the 80 i don't know you can see it or not uh, but let me just try to you know build like uh, make it uh, something 40 font size and then 40 and then label it should be also 40 like this okay now let me just put that value here again i hope now you can see okay so let's put 53 and 7 and then click on that button you can see 60 fantastic so we created one extension that do the addition now we all know that it's a basic code basic extension but we know that how to build our own extension right that's the main thing so this is all about it so if you have any doubt you can ask me on comment now let's see if there is any question uh, lol oh lol hi lol how, how are you and matthew hi matthew fantastic thank you so much thank you now is there any anything any other questions guys about it i can change my background also oh fantastic cool so is there anything you can ask me here okay this is uh, what we have learned we have learned how to build our own extension you can say uh, you know deep seek to create any other extension he will do for you okay you can create the uh, thumbnail uh, getting thumbnail uh, you know information let's try to find some extension okay 
open the community okay app inventor and uh, let me just try the extensions so all categories so i'm going to use here the extensions and as you can see here background task frequency detector drag and press path like maker free sync image loader z node extension there are a lot of extension right so now what we can do here we all have extension right card view extension as you can see this is now as you can see this is really fantastic so now if you want to create that extension if you want to create your own extension like this one so you just need to copy and paste the whole uh, you know uh, text how uh, we all know that there is all the everything about that extension and you just need to tell that everything to the DeepSeek and he will create that extension for you but if you don't know uh, nothing about Java so make sure you should know little bit about Java because once you have error or something so you can at least resolve okay so yeah that's all about it Matthew is something yeah what language was the complete extension is Java yes Java Matthew uh, is deep seek better than chat gpt for this purpose yes yes google xamarin or uh, microsoft bing no the best is the deep seek for the coding purpose okay this is important cool thank you so much for joining this live have a nice day be safe bye bye